ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय so i went through all the purports in this section and i pulled out very significant portions please follow along the lord existed before the creative energy was set in action the lord is not a product of the material energy his body is completely spiritual and there is no difference between his body and himself before creation the lord remained in his abode which is absolute and one so our body and ourself is different that's the first lesson of what of bhagavad gita transcendental knowledge that's the first if that's not understood you can't go on to other topics that has to be clearly understood i am not this body i am not my mind i am eternal spirit soul okay next paragraph the living entities are parts and parcels of the lord they are of two varieties namely nitya mukta and nitya baddha the nitya muktas are eternally liberated souls and they are eternally engaged in the reciprocation of transcendental loving service with the lord so reciprocation means we give and krishna gives back it's not one way there's an exchange of transcendental loving service with the lord in his eternal abode beyond the manifested mundane creation as we see in bhagavad gita that beyond this manifested and unmanifested matter there is the spiritual world tad dama paramam mama you'll see that several times in bhagavad gita my abode is beyond the material manifestation <clears throat> but the nitya bada or eternally conditioned souls are entrusted to his external energy maya for rectification of their rebellious attitude toward the supreme father so that is the original sin we rebelled we did not want to surrender to krishna as like when i was 19 years old my father gave me an ultimatum if you're going to live in this house you have to do what i say but i wanted to be a hippie so my father said there's the door and i had to go because i was not willing to surrender to my father and i began my journey to hell but then prabhupad and the devotees saved me thank you but that concept is there we rebelled that's why we're here the nitya badas are eternally forgetful of their relation with the lord as parts and parcels they are bewildered by the illusory energies as products of matter and thus they are very busy in making plans in the material world for becoming happy they go on merrily with their plans but by the will of the lord both the plan makers and the plans are annihilated at the end of a certain period as above mentioned prabhupad in another pur purport he says we what's our situation we're like children at the beach making sand castles then as you all know at a certain time the parents say time to go home and they get no 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 so what does the father do he smashes the sand castle now let's go so that's what krishna does we make sand castles and trump towers and all kinds of things but the day will come krishna will come and knock it all down that's what krishna does 
<coughs> they go on. <clears throat> this is confirmed in Bhagavad Gita, O son of Kunti. At the end of the millennium, all living beings merge into my nature. And again, when the time of creation is ripe, I begin creation by the energy agency of my external energy. So I mentioned that before. We rest in Mahavishnu, and then when he exhales, we re-enter the womb of material nature. Actually, the spiritual spark living entities have no material names or forms. But in order to fulfill their desire to lord it over the material energy of material forms and names, they are given a chance for such false enjoyment. And at the same time, they are given a chance to understand the real position through the revealed scriptures. So that's why in Bhagavad Gita, at the end of chapter 16, after Arjuna hears the qualities of the devotee and the qualities of the demon, at the end Krishna says, therefore, you should know what to do and what not to do by what? The scriptures. And what does Prabhupada say in his Gita uh, introduction? We don't have time to read all the scriptures. Therefore, Rama, what book? Bhagavad Gita. Because why? It is the essence of all the Vedas. Gita Upanishad. So we studied Bhagavad Gita here in Kundan Loka for many years. Finally, we broke through. And now we're in Bhagavatam. But it's to be expected that you know your Bhagavad Gita. So if you're not remembering, do some homework and study Bhagavad Gita. Okay, let's continue. Okay. <clears throat> Modern nationalism is the culmination of, salts, of such false names and false forms. Men are mad after false name and form. The form of body obtained under certain condition is taken up as factual and the name also taken bewilders the conditioned soul into misusing the energy in the name of so many isms. Like my father, I remember we were driving in the car, my wife was there and we were starting to preach a little Krishna consciousness to my father. So I said to my father, yes, you are my father in this lifetime, but I've had many fa And he started to cry because he was thinking I'm his son eternally, that I will always be his son. But Bhagavad Gita teaches, I have had many fathers and mothers like that. So it was, he could not understand it. He could not grasp it. The scriptures, however, supply the clue for understanding the real position. But men are reluctant to take lessons from the scriptures created by the Lord for different places and times. For example, the Bhagavad Gita is the guiding principle for every human being. Oh, it's not just for Hindus. Look what Prabhupada is saying. Every, that's why we distribute we give Bhagavad Gita to everybody because it's not a Hindu scripture. It's for everybody. <clears throat> but by the spell of material energy, they do not take care to carry out the programs of life in terms of Bhagavad Gita. And Srimad Bhagavatam is the postgraduate study of knowledge for one who has thoroughly understood the principles of Bhagavad Gita. So, congratulations. You're in the postgraduate study program here at Kundan Loka. Keep up the good work. Unfortunately, people have no taste for them. And therefore, they are under the clutches of Maya for repetition of birth and death. Yes. So many people could have come tonight, but only the select few have come. 
They have other things to do. Football games to watch. Bhangra parties and so many things. But you, you made the right decision by coming here. You like that one, huh? Huh? Yes. Very. You can go to Garba after attending Namahat. But first, let's continue. As it is stated in Bhagavad Gita, the Lord can be known in His real nature by dint of pure devotional service only. That's mentioned at least three times in Bhagavad Gita. Chapter 8, chapter 11, chapter 18. Not by karma, not by jnana, and not by yoga other than bhakti yoga. This is from Krishna's own mouth. It's not what Prabhupada says or Narantara says. No, Krishna says it's by devotional service. <clears throat> so it is stated here that only the great devotees of the Lord who were able to clear the mind of all material dust by rigid devotional service can experience the Lord as he is. When Krishna was chasing, not chasing, Krishna was leading and Kaliyavana was following, but he could never quite catch up to Krishna and Prabhupada explains, you can only catch up to Krishna when you're free from sin. Kaliyavana was full of sin, so he would never be able to catch up to Krishna. Krishna was on foot on the battlefield. So Kaliyavana also went on foot, but he could not catch up. And then Krishna took him to the cave. And who was in the cave? Muchukunda, what was he doing? Sleeping. And Kaliyavana kicked him. Woke him up thinking it was Krishna. Then with his eyes, his glance, nuked him. He nuked him with his eyes. Let's continue. In Bhagavad Gita, it is said that the senses can be controlled only by better engagements. The line Krishna Prabhupada is referring to, Parang Drisva Nivartate. You have to have a higher engagement. And what's that? Yeah, higher. No, better means higher. Same thing. Better, higher. Synonyms. This is the whole thing. None of us Westerners wouldn't have joined if there wasn't kirtan because we were all into music, rock music. But Prabhupada turned us on to kirtan and we gave it up. And we were addicted to eating so many things. But Prabhupada gave us prashad. So we got the higher or better taste. Okay. Devotional service necessitates purifying the senses or engaging them in the activities of devotional service. Devotional service is not in action. That's the Mayavadis. The Mayavadis think they will nullify all karmic reactions by simply not doing anything. Impossible. The mind is all the, the soul is always active. Even when you're asleep, you're still active, dreaming. The mind is running. So the soul is always active. Anything done in the service of the Lord becomes at once purified of its material nature. The material conception is due to ignorance only. There is nothing beyond Vasudeva. Therefore, everybody repeat, Vasudeva Sarvam Iti. The Vasudev conception gradually develops in the heart of the learned after a prolonged acceleration of the receptive organs. But the process ends in the knowledge of accepting Vasudeva as all in all. So here, Prabhupada is paraphrasing Bhagavad Gita 719. That's what Prabhupada is doing. He's giving you a different interpretation 
or explanation of that verse from uh, seventh. What's the, what's the whole verse? Samahat Masudullah, but what's the first two lines? I can't think. 719. And no, 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 that's never, that's 73. Uh, anyway, what's that? That's the verse. She knows. Bahunam Janmanamante. After many births. Bahunam Janmanamante. man. Then the intelligent person. What does the intelligent person do? What does your father say? Oh, surrender. Why? They understand Vasudeva is everything. That's why they surrender. Okay. In the case of devotional service, this very same method is accepted from the very beginning. By the grace of the Lord, all factual knowledge becomes revealed in the heart of a devotee due to dictation by the Lord from within. Therefore, controlling the senses by devotional service is the only and easiest mean. What's the line? Susukam kartum avyayam. You'll see.